What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm on my Halloween ends in this video here today, talking about that thing that I mentioned in that other video I just posted not too long ago related to a confirmation that we got over on HalloweenMovies.com that I haven't seen many people talk about or maybe I'm late to the party, but it's basically confirming or at least teasing that one of them is indeed going to die that's something we should expect going into howling ends i know many of you are already expecting that but now with the site making it clearer than ever a lot of people are going to be again going on about which one will it be the most obvious one for a lot of us myself included will be of course the villain of the story michael myers what am i talking about well over on the halloween movie site it says that after 45 years the most acclaimed revered horror franchise in film history reaches its epic terrifying conclusion as Laurie Strode faces off for the last time against the embodiment of evil Michael Myers in a final confrontation unlike any captured on screen before only one of them will survive now again that's the that's the site literally confirming or at least teasing that you should go into this movie with the expectation of one of them dying they could of course pull the rug out from under you and do something where they both die but it's it's making it clear that i guess that it's gonna do I'll take it at face value. It says only one of them will survive. So going off of some of the things Jamie Lee Curtis has stated and going off of how she's like talked about the final days of the reshoots or how the last shot was her sitting in a car and she realized that was the last time she was playing Laurie Strode. You know, if that's one of the last shots of the movie, isn't that already telling enough of what will go down? Laurie Strode will end up surviving. Michael Myers will end up dying. Some people might not be in agreement with that. I honestly, again, it, it depends on how it's depicted on screen. A lot of people would just would prefer, and I think I would say I prefer this, would prefer something done in a way that's able to still maybe preserve what the character of Michael Myers represents. Something that maybe be might be more in line with what we got in 1978 shot six times stabbed a couple times got up and walked away not an exact copy but something that kind of just hypes up and alludes to that nature of michael myers and, and the mystique of the character and the shape so that's where again that brief that brief dialogue that dave mccray has talked about had they have chimed in over over the film from somebody recreating the voice of dr loomis saying that you fooled them michael but not me and then the movie cuts to black that's enough to set a seed of doubt in your head for not everyone but certain viewers who will think did he somehow survive and i guess it also depends on how they actually show him dying assuming that that's the route they are going to take michael myers dying depending on the death that you have on screen maybe a bit of dialogue like that probably won't be as impactful because if it's something that it's clear as day like if they chop his head off again even though it wasn't him in H2O, but let's say they take that route where Michael Myers gets his head chopped off. If they do that, then I can see where a lot of people are like, if a, if, if dialogue from Dr. Loomis chimes in talking about something, you fooled the Michael, but not me. Some people might knock that and say, I don't know what he's talking about. We just saw him get his head chopped off or they could do something even worse uh, besides just chopping his head off. So it depends on how it's, how it's depicted on screen because I know some people would prefer Michael and Lori die together where you have them fighting in maybe a house that's on fire. I've talked about how I think it would be epic for this series to end this iteration of the series to end in the actual Myers house with Michael, Lori, Allison, whoever else has made it to the finale at this stage. But again, going off of what we know, it doesn't seem like we're going to get anything like that because it's very heavily focused on Corey Cunningham. But if Corey Cunningham wasn't going to be a factor in my my mind the perfect place to end the series would either be at smith's grove or some other sanitarium or in the myers house in and of itself with one final battle between michael myers laurie strode throw allison into the mix and let laurie sacrifice herself so allison can live something like that and it's just something that's done in a poetic way where they both go out in the flame as it continues to burn on. And then you have that bit of dialogue with Dr. Loomis, like Dave McCray has talked about, uh, chiming in to place that seed of doubt. That would be something I would prefer to see going on at the Myers house. But it seems that one of them will die. 
if it is somehow Lori Strode, I don't know how people will react to that because she has stated that there is something in the movie or there's certain aspects of the movie that I guess will make people upset. So maybe that's it. If Michael Myers somehow actually comes out on top, I do think a large chunk of the audience will be indifferent to that considering you've already died once before in the series, but it'll ultimately come down to how your death is depicted, I guess, because the send off again that she had in Resurrection, completely abysmal. I would much rather we get something in Halloween Ends if they decide to kill her, where it's at least something that's more of a hero death or something that doesn't completely step on the character in a disrespectful way, because I've already also talked about this. Where is Lori's headspace at? What is Lori going to be like in this movie? I'm also kind of questioning what role does she really serve here to be a part of this if it's going to be focusing so much on this new character of Corey Cunningham. Other than, of course, if Allison is dating Corey, she will just be Allison's grandmother, who is just a survivor of Michael Myers, who has a lot of trauma, just like Allison. But then if it's focused on Corey Cunningham, where does that leave a lot of the significance of Laurie Strode in the movie? Honestly, because we know she's writing that memoir, but they're marketing this with the build up to that battle. That battle most likely is not happening until the final act. <laughs> and if anything, people might come out of this saying that they did a disservice to the character because I know a lot of people want to go into Halloween ends with the narrative centered on Laurie Strode. So for a lot of casual people, they're in for a big surprise if this movie is as heavily focused on Corey Cunningham as it seems like it's going to be. Because uh, I don't want to see a narrative in which Laurie Strode is having some type of crisis narrative or some type of inner crisis with herself where she then becomes obsessed like Sally Hardesty in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie we recently got. I don't want to see anything like that where she's obsessed with making Michael Myers remember her because who knows how she has been impacted by learning that it was never about her and that Michael wasn't after her. That realization might have, you know, made her go a little bit uh, off the deep end in a way. And she might be obsessed with not only defeating Michael, but making her, making him remember her. So hopefully that is not something they depict in which she has a very untimely, disgusting demise. Hopefully it's nothing like that. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below about one of them being basically confirmed to die. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and there is a video in the description. I have links to some social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.